Okay, let me see here. I am now loading onto Farsight here. This is my brand new little ship I got. Um, when you load into this game, it's fairly self-explanatory. You can connect your wallets and everything. Um, it doesn't really have like a sign in. It says kind of like a sign, um, an email thing. So what you do is you put your email in, and then once you click submit or whatever, it starts taking you through the enrollment process. All right. Once you complete all that, um, you can have all these things. It's going to say airdrop up here, and you're going to go to the very first one, and it's going to apply for airdrop campaigns. It's going to say a bunch of things like, uh, "Do this, do that, and check your email." So you have to go and verify your email, check your junk folder, because mine went to junk, and I kept having them resend it. And you have to go to your junk if you're sending it in Gmail or Hotmail or whatever Outlook, whatever you're using. And um, if you know how to you know make it a safe email after that do that too like right now I'm making this video for one of these airdrop things which will give me 50,000 credits and this is gonna basically just give you an overview of how to get some of these credits real quick so I'm gonna do a YouTube review right now and I'll submit this link to this video here and post it and then retweet with comments all these different things you're gonna get all these extra credits all right You'll get more for referring friends and stuff like that as you go along. And, you know, if you want to retweet on Reddit or um, Twitter or Facebook or in a blog or even on YouTube, you can do all that kind of stuff. Like right now, I only have 14,500 14, um, credits here. And what that does is it gives you the ship to start off with. This You get unlocked just basically for getting your email and everything done. And then you move down here, you get the weapon unlocked, and then the mining laser, and then more stuff. And as you go, you get quite a few more things, as you can see. So that's just the basic of this. This is all kind of almost pre-game, too, to my understanding. I'm going to close with that. I'm just going to show you a little bit. I haven't really figured out how to do all the mining and stuff. I don't own any of the NFTs, really, in this game. I am just on a free account. But um, hopefully, you know, with referrals and stuff, I'll get more credits and be able to you know advance slowly uh, if you are looking to you know hang out or hook up with me on this I'll play with other people and see what's going on but um I did look around there's a guide here it opens up other windows you get the store unfortunately everything now is no more crates they did just stop this um, this is May 2022 that I'm posting this video they stopped this in April so they stopped selling these crates. They're going for like, I think it was like 0.05 ETH and up to like these legendary ones. And I think these are all the people that got all the things that you can make all these um, these major things you really needed to, um, to actually do stuff in the game pre-game before it's really even out. So, oh, what's that say? phase over phase over and those are sold out so there might be another phase like a phase five this says phase four over but i don't know but it looks like you can go on open sea from here and pick things if you want which makes it so you have to buy some nfts to be able to play but this is the cool little ship they give you to start out with it's not that bad um i guess if you hit star map over here what it will do is load up and we can go check out stars, but um, I don't actually have the miner or anything really to do anything, so I'm not going to like go anywhere really far. But um, it, it's a cool little animation. It just starts bringing you into the start. kind of reminds me a little bit of EVE Online, an old, old um, multi-universe game. Not quite like I um, No Man's Sky, though. It's still nice. It's interesting. I guess your ship's considered in here somewhere. And then you can, like, I, I guess you can't pick the star, but you can pick one of these planets. So let's just pick this little guy. It has two. Uh, it looks like Earth almost. I mean, with all the blue water and stuff. And then there's uh, back to star. There's options. And I don't have a miner or anything, and I can't really do anything yet. But, um, I mean, it's pretty cool. I guess you can, you know, click on these different stars and stuff, and Let's go back to the star map. I'll click on another one. But, um, I guess these these might be mineable. So you click on this different section, 
and you can go in and out on them. And it brings up all this location. It says Homestead has blah blah blah. Yet yeah. uh, unexplored. So I guess you can explore things and stuff after a while. And be able to put up refineries. I, I think you have to own these actually little sections and stuff on planets. So um, to get it, it's uh, I think it's quite expensive. Um, buy these sections, and I'm not sure how they'll be playing them out later. If they'll allow people to, you know, free players to kind of do these different things, but they're required by players to construct uh, bases that extract resources. Sections are part of the planet representing construction bases. Each section is unique on the map. Um, Acquiring sections player using credits freely when a planet is explored. Section ownership rights can be traded or transferred to another player with the uh, contained resources and constructed bases after being acquired by a sector can only be used by that player. Base is public available for observation, but no one can build and base an opposition site. Sector credit, sector maps, and well, I mean, you can do all this little stuff in here, it can be constructed on this little map. So, I guess when you really actually own the section, you get to zoom in, you can start creating your own little map and everything. Um, resource supplies, section sizes, mining. That's something I want to actually learn how to do, but uh, I'm not sure how to do it yet. Um, but there's a lot of lot of stuff here to read and go over. I haven't done it all yet, but uh, I can look over a few things here and learn it all. And I'm just, literally, this is my first day playing it too, so. Let's see. Um, just read a little bit. There's a little bit of a story. And the game is created by other players. This I've been reading all over the places. Like everybody copied and pasted this everywhere. It's crazy. But um, really wish it was kind of like click, do this, and learn how to mine right off the bat, right? But um, I don't know. I know I'm a free kind of. A, I'm going to be a free to play on this for sure. And hopefully I can earn something. But um, let's see what happens. Oh, there are asteroids. Ah, so I could possibly mine from a ship if I have the mining module. So, um, that'd be interesting. Asteroids are permanent resources. And I guess you have to find them. <clears throat> so they're, they're available to every player to acquire them. Uh, comets are temporary resources, with rare resources, though may appear a limited time in different stars, providing players with a chance to acquire valuable resources without a uh, sector or and a base. Interesting. Asteroids contain basic resources, can be mined, a ship, and System source of common resources. However, there will also be spontaneous comets with limited stock, rare resources appearing in different installations, rare and extremely valuable resources. My modules and some cargo capacities on ship is required resource collecting from an asteroid. Discovering a new comet may be considered an important um, event to be announced widely for the players, players may not. Or asteroids or comets ownership rights. Mining using a special module on a ship is the only option for interception with a, uh, an asteroid. Okay, some asteroids and comets may have the limited amount of resources and will disappear after being completely vanished by players. Ah, so that so you actually have to kind of find these comets and stuff to um, try to mine them. So let's go back to the star and let's see. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. These are planets. I don't see like an asteroid field. Um, I wonder if I just kind of got to search and search for like an asteroid field. So here, these are all planets. Um, what's this one out here? Okay, that one's this one. Let's just check out this most. So there's no like asteroids here. Which is like too bad. Um, I don't really see any asteroids out in these other planets. You can't click a planet 
well, you're actually, so you have to go back to the star, or back two stars. Uh, these different sectors, I guess you have like, what is it? Kind of tells you all about the different sectors, planetary surface, acquiring a sector, um, game items, blueprint, ships, holes, modules, components, ammunition, crates, stickers, and resources. I mean, there's going to be a lot of stuff. Ammunition, I guess there's going to be battles and stuff with ships, uh, gameplay, career paths, flights, mining, factory, refinery, building a base, item production. Storing items, contracts, star management. I mean, I guess there's going to be a whole different load of different things you can do from like just even moving materials around. I guess that's going to be a big thing for people and mining and a factory building and governing things. Economics, it, there's um, lots of game items, lots of stuff to do, lots of stuff to trade. A uh, big store, I guess, um, that they'll have. Party by players. Bunch of crates. Crates will give you a discount if you get 25% off if you get 100 of them. But yeah, there's going to there's gonna be a bunch of different things. Project development news. Um, I'm not sure exactly when the launch of this is about where I guess we're in phase four. Um, it's pre-alpha launched. Visual effects and graphics improved. Sectors acquisitions started. Resource mining enabled. Interstellar gates opened. And internal resource marketplace set up. So um, I guess they're starting up even a marketplace and everything. I'm going to have to find myself some asteroids after I get this um, thing unlocked here. So let's see here, airdrops. So I want to get this mining laser unlocked, which I need 15,000 and another 500. So I could, I could do a couple other things here, but I literally just kind of started. I did tweet, but I guess it needs a manual reset. And I did do this, um, I did comment, I put my name in here, Heathcliff Bar. But for some reason, it kept saying invalid link. I just don't know. Why? And I have subscribed to them, but um, yeah, if people do invite uh, you to use my link, I pasted it in the uh, comments. I mean, in the actual um, the info. So if you grab that link, I'll get what a thousand credits or something for setting up for them. And then the YouTube video, I'll post this here. I'll probably do a little bog review or something and see about that too. But it looks like I'm just stuck. From getting just enough credits to get that mining laser. But I don't know. I guess next crates come in like 10 hours. So I guess every um, 10 hours you can get a crate or something, which will give you some more credits. So every so often you'll get some and then you'll work your way up to actually be able to do major stuff. Like even in, oh, when you do um, Discord. You join the community, you gotta use the link, and even to post in the Discord, you have to wait 10 minutes before you post because they don't want any bots coming in, which I can understand. So, this means that even though you start playing this game day one, you get all these credits and you get the ship going and everything, you really gotta actually play it for like two days before you can actually start just trying to bot your way through it. So, it's not gonna be one of those games where you can just jump in and and go at it and you know see if you like it. it's kind of going to take you a little commitment do all the little like sick things get the airdrops get the ship get the upgrade to mining so you can then go out and actually find i guess these um asteroids that we'll be searching for and or comets like you go to a different section go back to a star map and just choose a whole different star um but I don't know what I pushed. I pushed the wrong button. But um, there's all these stars right here to t search through. So, I mean, I, get, I guess I can kind of pick, like, any one of them. And then it just turns you to it, and you start flying. So, I'm going to putter around a little bit. We'll fly around the stars, see if I can find an asteroid. And then I'll probably find out that I, I can't do anything. But I do have a cannon on my ship. I think I do. Uh, apparently, this is just a star. 
<laughs> Absolute waste of time flying over there. All right, let's see. Um, like, what do we got over here? Oh, we got like one planet, something. Just put her around. I don't know how many more people are like, you know, just flying around here right now. Because I mean, they're giving us a gun for the ship before they gave us a mining laser. So, and they gave me a container, which means I guess I could pick up stuff and transport things. But I'm not really sure how to do that. There's no real videos on this. I've been searching YouTube and um, really hasn't given me anything formative. Like we got three planets here. Uh, three, one, two, three. Now let's, all right, so this is just a plain planet. It doesn't, it doesn't look like it's broke up into sections. And let's see this one. This one looks like another plain planet. And what's in this one? This one's broken up into sections. So this means that in this area, this is the only planet that um, will do sections. I guess you can hide the sections or open them. And this will show you what there is. And hold on. Back up. And then I can spin the planet around. And look at it. These are all the, the mineable sections. Like, who knows if maybe the colorations are, you know, like better mining spot with this big dark hole right here or something, you know. Like, you want to go down in there and set up all your little ships. But, um, hmm. I wish it actually told me more, like, had whatever for material, this and that, rentable, so-and-so owns it, blah, 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 or something. But it'd be kind of cool if you could, like, mine off somebody else's section. But uh, I guess you really can't right now. So let's go back to the um, stars. And I'll choose something else. It looks like you're always coming out of the same spot, but uh, you know, I guess you're not. I can't click on these lines over here. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just in the wrong spot. Maybe it's not even a zone. Yeah, it looks like this is the zone here. Nexus. <clears throat> it seems very kind of picky on where to click. Those lines aren't connected kind of thing. But yeah. I'll just put around a couple more stars. If I can't find an asteroid, I'll I'll probably under, you know I'll understand why. I'm probably already found by everybody in mind. You find one that's probably every single ship's right there just choo -choo 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 chewing at it, right? <laughs> I mean, if there are people even in here playing, if there's like even if like there's like 50 people on, just checking out and playing, they're all probably attacking the one asteroid. So I should probably check out like the uh, Discord some more and see if the community says, oh, go to this star. There's a comet in the area right now, which would be friggin' awesome. Or if everybody's kind of like, oh, I'm not telling anybody there's a comet here, dude. I'm gonna get all the resources for myself, right? But, um, what do we got here? We got planets, planet, planet, planet. All planets, it looks like. Everything's with a ring is gonna have a planet. And I don't see any comets just kind of floating around. I was hoping, like, anything with, like, rings around it might actually have like this is definitely sectioned up planet right but I back up I mean I can you just click on it right hmm hide sectors okay back to start all right back up I was hoping that these ones with rings around would actually have asteroid belts you know but uh, they're definitely ones with sections on them all right and um I mean I obviously can't yeah, they all have different names for the sections. Back to star. And this one's all sectioned up. Looks like there's a lot of sections in this star area. I really wish I could find, um... Oh, now this is new. I haven't seen this yet. Oh. Here we go. Purchased. This section has been purchased. It is producing. I don't know what. Resources. You can preview. 
Let's pre the map. Oh, isn't that cute? All right, so that's their map. Can't do anything. I can drag apparently and click. Um, hide section back to no, that's all off the screen. So that's the map. So that's interesting. So that's the first I've seen of that. I can scroll in and out a little bit here. Um, yeah, that that's that's pretty cool. I guess they all produce probably different stuff. Like if you hovered over them, yeah, see how that's changing. Like that one changes and that one changes. So there's there's something else here that's not on that one. One of these two. And um, yeah, I can't construct a base or anything because it's not mine. And uh, section acquired free what price no. Okay, section acquired price. It just says purchased. Uh, medium 26 sessions will allow for resource mining, refinery, item storage, blah, 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 blah. And players will be able to use it already in alpha to play the game. Huh. All right. And I tried clicking purchased. It doesn't do anything. But if I click on this one that's not highlighted, right? Oh, no, I can't. So I'm guessing all these are definitely all purchased, right? So I mean, I have a section here, but it's not able to be purchased. So, yeah. I'm guessing I'm not going to be able to afford these sections. If the crates are going for 0 0.05 ETH, yeah, I'm not going to be buying anything for a major amount of ETH right now. But uh, if anybody's playing this game and would like to add me on or something so I can kind of join in. I don't know if there's like a scholarship or silly on programs or you know like some other games have. But I would definitely be interested. So that one's let's check some of these other planets to see if they're bought up too. No they're not. And they can't be purchased. So maybe they're holding on to all these other ones that aren't currently um, purchased and saying they're waiting till actual launch. Because, I mean, look at this plant. This thing's amazing looking. This looks like Earth. Plus water and land and everything. And, I mean, just one of these little sections is what you want to buy and get into. So, I mean, if you can buy one, I'd definitely grab one. So, that'd be pretty cool. And I hope I can get one with um some of the stuff that I have. And hopefully I can earn some more and be able to get one early game before they're insanely priced. Because this game comes out pretty soon, so uh, let's go back to the stars and check out a whole other section here. Where haven't I been yet? Like, where was I here? I don't remember. Oh, let me see here. My phone just rang. Oh, Taco Bell would like to know if I'd like to order some food. No, thank you. Not right now. Thank you. Not paying sponsorship for this video, so don't worry. So it looks like this is one section I can check. Uh, it's called the Dewey, and then there's Raja, Raj, Raju, and then Yara, Namika, Nix, Nix. Oh, so, so it's so it's all these different stars, and these must be other stars that they're gonna add on, probably into the game. That's why they're already kind of built in here, but you don't you can't click them yet, so there's nothing here to click. So I guess if I want to, I click each individual star. It's got gates. Oh, there's gates and stuff. Let's go here. Four planets and some gates. Let me go check out what these gates are too. But uh, I think I'll check out a couple more planets and and then I'll probably just stop this video because I mean it's you know it's a good. 30 minutes already I've put into this just a basic video to show you how to use this. Um, all this over here is kind of just your basic stuff. You, you highlight over it and tell you like um, like ships. So this will bring up my current ship right now. I'll show the one ship that I have. But it'll probably just take a second because I'm loading up the star. This is all browser based game too so for the graphics and the download that you need to do it's 
It's not bad at all. Kind of surprised. Um, I'm not really sure about being able to fly through space and move your guy around. So I think this is about the limit of it. I don't believe you get like a WSDA, you know, even like click and move your guy around at all um, while you're flying. But um, I don't have the best internet connection when I have my video currently loading to broadcasting. So it, this might take me a little bit longer than it might take you. And I'm wondering if, because I'm traveling from one side of the map to the other, <laughs> probably I'm, it's probably taking a little bit longer. I guess there's fuel and stuff that you're going to end up needing. So right now it's probably kind of like an exploratory thing, like you're able to just pop around, but I don't know. Don't quote me on that. <clears throat> um, how long is it going to take to get the star? I don't know what this little moon right here does. I keep clicking it, and nothing happens. But uh, back in these airdrops, I'm actually interested in what's going to happen in 10 hours. See what's going to happen in the upcoming um, crate. So I wonder if these just keep dropping to you every time, every so many hours, and gives you a chance to give you um, a crate with a whatever percentage or not. I think I heard somebody say you had like a 1% chance of getting something valuable in it. I don't really know though. But I'm um, looking forward to getting this and then hopefully finding something. But um, you get the ship, you get that, and then you get a container, which I guess you really need pretty badly. And then uh, there are, there's a more powerful ship at 100,000. Somebody else is saying this A2 which is a really good starter ship. Then you get missile weapons, and artillery, shells, shield, and then a drone. Um, fanatic drone by Bay One. I don't know. About Five million. Probably going to be a little while until I get up to that. But uh, we'll see. Hopefully um, everyone that follows the link registers and completes at least one task with a... Um, manual check or whatever will burn you an extra score of 10,000. So, I mean, 10 people, you know, just go in and they just do the basic uh, very first thing, apply for airdrops. That's where you have to, you know, check your um, email and verify your email and then do a couple other things like Twitter. Um, there's something for um, another link, but I don't know. I, I don't know if I really got it correct but it just auto clicked through it anyways so um, just try clicking it anyways like complete it even if you don't have it and when it starts to upload or you hit the go to um, telegram just do go to telegram and everything and I think it, it will actually click through for you but I'm not sure oh, it looks like we finally landed at this star system there are four planets it said it had three gates I don't see the gates so, huh. Right, these are the planets here. This is a nothing planet, apparently. Uh, no sectors here. Oh, so each one says, so this says it has 30 something sectors. Okay, so these are sectors, but it doesn't look like there's anything to do with them. This is, has questionable sectors. So there are no sectors on here. Huh. What, am I right? No, it says... Nothing, okay. Never mind. I don't know. The only one that has sectors would be this one. So I guess that's about it for right now. Um, I'm going to have to... I'm going to get my ship, which is this guy here. And, you know, he's got like, whatever. And I got a little storage or... Stuff. Not bad. Gives you uh, slots, tells you what you got. Um, I'm not sure how to add anything to slots. They're not clickable right now. Now, if I check over here, it says that I have this module right here. It's a, a B type 1 or something common. And I don't know how to actually apply it to my ship. Um, compatible slot. And it says fit to it. So, I mean, how to fit to it? I go to my ship, 
and then I, I, I go in here and then I hit the slots, it doesn't say that I can add any type of thing. So it's a type 1 slot, right? I have an open slot. So let's go type 1 slot, and I can't click to change it. And I don't know about this energy. Maybe I need so many energy points or something to open it. But, um, maybe it's something when, when game actually gets released to allow me to do it. But as far as I know, I don't know how to add this to the slot. It's a type 1 S, or uh, I guess the common and then S type 1. So, um, it doesn't even say like range or active energy or warming up anything yet. Uh, detail, it's a small. Okay, please note that module specs may be adjusted prior to the game launch. So the game isn't exactly launched yet, and the condition hit points is three quarters. The game will be del this module will be delivered to a starting station in the best condition, fully charged. Oh, so maybe I have to go to a station first. Um, but I'll uh, back to stars. All right, let's see here. Oops. Oh, star map over here. All right, let's see here. Um, how to get to a starting station? I don't know. Might have to just reload. Oh, here we go. So here's the starting station. Um. Oh, turn it again. Stations. Dock. We docking? Oh, we're going in. We're going in. All right, baby. There we go. So we figured that out. <laughs> so this is just kind of exploratory. Figure it out. Do what we can. Okay, test your ship and open space flights are safe during Alpha. All right, approach the um, here's, uh, visit station and other stars and constellations. Hmm, okay, unlimited cargo storage available. All right, that's interesting. Free for a limited time during Alpha. Sweet. You have one ship parked on the station. Free for a limited time during Alpha. All right. So, undock. And then, what are our options in here? Station storage. So, I guess we have unlimited storage for right now. All right. And then, what do we got here? Parking. Okay, so that's my thing. That's storage. And that's the station. So, that's basics. So now, what I must have to do is go into my ship while on the station and add the guns to it. Yes. <laughs> we'll, see, we'll see. We'll see about these guns. Um, I don't want to undock. Market store guide. But, uh, you know, we'll try this out. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely lagging a little bit because of all this so it popped up says active so that's my state that's my ship that I'm using and then um, in here let's see if I can now change the slot fit module yes oh yes we can all right so fit module and da -da -da -da. We have fit the module. It now has a gun on it. Look at that. Look at that. We got our gun on our ship. Okay. So I've, that's good to figure out. So I have no clue what's going to be going on with this gun. But I think I've heard if you lose your ship and it gets destroyed, literally that NFT is burnt. So, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead.